Hey guys, welcome to the Nuclear Chowder Show. My name is Mike Brooks and I'm thrilled to have you here today with me. Um, today I want to talk about a real super, super basic marketing concept here that I see a lot of businesses not doing. And um, it may seem, you know, it's obvious to me because, man, I, I eat, sleep, and breathe marketing stuff. I mean, this is my thing. I love marketing. I read about marketing for fun. So to me, this is basic, but, you know, sometimes I have to stop myself. It's not basic if you don't know it. You know, you don't know what you don't know. I don't know what I don't know. So if you haven't been taught this kind of thing, um, it's going to seem pretty profound, and it could change your business if you if you implement this. Um if you already know this and you're already doing this in your business, do me a favor and watch the rest of the video and then go and leave a comment on how you're using this same concept in your business. Um, you know, uh, and, and I don't mean to put anybody down. So I hope you're not thinking, you know, I hope you don't think, oh man, he's, you know, he, he thinks I should know this. No, I don't. You know, um, sometimes I have a habit of, and we all do this. You know, we look at, uh, we, it, when I ran the martial arts school, we used to talk about looking at the world through black belt eyes, talking to people as a black belt and not as a white belt. Black belt is this expert. You know, you've been doing martial arts for a long time and you see things as that person. Same thing in your business. You know, if you're an expert at um, whatever it is you do, you tend to forget that there's people out there who don't understand the acronyms. They don't understand, they don't have the same passion about what it is you do yet, right? Uh, over time they will, but you have, to, you have to pace them. You have to be in pace with them. You have to be where they are at that moment. So, you know, if a person is right here at the beginning and you're here at the finish line, they're, they're, it's not, things aren't making sense to them, right? You have to be where they are. So, uh, I'm, you know, I, I, again, don't mean to put anybody down for not knowing this. It's, um, but this is something if you, you know, if you're not doing it in your business, you got to do it. And, and it really, I was having a discussion about this the other day. I was at, uh, the, um, over at Prime Publishers here in Southbury, which publishes our local newspapers. They publish The Voices and The Town Times. I was talking to Kurt Mazeroski. And Kurt, forgive me if I mispronounced your name. Um, <laughs> we were chatting about uh, advertising and, you know, tr exchanging war stories. And he told me an interesting story. He, he told me that uh, one of his clients uh, had given him a call and asked him to stop advertising. He wanted to stop. And he, you know, Kurt asked him why he wanted to stop. And he said, well, I'm not getting any business from it. So Kurt asked him, well, where are you getting your business from? And the, the gentleman stopped for a moment and, and thought about it. And he said, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. So Kurt very nicely said, well, do me a favor over the next few weeks, ask, ask people how they heard about you. When they walk through your door, ask them. Really, really simple. Just ask them. Because even if you don't use us, even if, you know, Kurt said, even if you don't use voices, advertising voices, you want to understand where your marketing dollars, where your advertising dollars are working and where they aren't. And he say he even told them, you know, if, if nobody's coming in from the advertising you're doing with us, then, then you should stop. So long story short, two weeks later, the gentleman called back and said, where do I sign? He signed up for more advertising because he found out, he started asking, he found out it was working. And that's what, you know, a lot of people don't do that. They don't ask where their client came from. So... Now, this could be difficult if, you know, depending on what kind of business you run. If you're only acquiring a new customer maybe once a month or once every week, it's easy, right? Because you probably spend a lot of time talking to each new client, each new prospect. You spend a lot of time. If you're running a store, you know, a busy gas station or a busy store, uh, you know, somewhere where people are going in and out, restaurant, it's hard to ask everybody. But you've got to find a way and systemize it where so there's a system there so that you are capturing that information because it's super important. And the more you capture, the better you capture, the more information you're going to have. And information is power. You know, when you know, when you can look at a piece of paper and go, for every dollar I spend here, for every dollar, my phone's going off over here, for every dollar I spend here, I earn this many dollars. That's powerful because then it's just a multiple right? So if every time you spend $1 on this, whatever this advertising is, 
and you get $5 back for that $1 you spend, well, what happens when you turn that $1 into $500, right? As long as the conversions follow through, and that just, you know, again, testing, asking, testing all your marketing, it's just increasing, opening the floodgates. So when you're confident in your marketing, when you know where the money's coming from, then you just keep investing it in that thing. So again, really simple, right? Very simple to ask somebody, but you know, listen, there's a number of reasons why people don't do it. If you're not doing it, there may be a number of reasons why you're not doing it. Maybe it's just too hectic in your business. Maybe you asked and you didn't get the right answers because here's the deal. Uh, when I ran the martial arts school, we really started to um, dominate on the internet, which is why I'm in internet marketing now, right? Because I got really, really good at internet marketing. So we started being really everywhere, everywhere on the internet, everywhere in our town. And what would happen is we would ask people how they heard about us and they would say, we see you everywhere. Okay. So now I've got to work backwards. I've got to make, you know, ask them more questions to really determine, well, where everywhere did you see us? You know, did you see us at, at this place? Did you see us at a seminar we did? Did you see us on the internet? And then, well, if you said the internet, where on the internet did you see us? Because the internet is not just Google, right? It's Facebook, it's Twitter, it's Yelp, it's yellowpages.com. It, there's all these different places that we're, where we are on the internet, and I want to know where it is specifically. So the more specific you can get, the better. Now, if you can't ask people right then and there, take, you know, if it's crazy busy all the time, if you've got a lot of people coming in and out, offer an incentive for people to fill out a little thing on your desk, you know, keep it on your counter and say, you know, uh, get this, get this uh, special prize or get entered into our raffle. Don't do this on Facebook, but get entered into our weekly raffle by filling out this little form and just make it really simple for it, for us, you know, collect their email address. That's a whole nother thing. Email capture. If you're not capturing emails, you're, you're missing out. So enter your email address, enter your name, and then check off how you heard about us and then check off all the places, you know, write all the places that you market on there. So if you're on the yellow pages, put the yellow pages, put Google, put all the different categories where you market and let them check it off what they, where they got it from, and then keep that data and, and work that data, right? So assign value to the data so that you can go back and say, you know what? We spent X amount of dollars on search engine marketing and it's bringing us back X amount of dollars here because there's nothing worse than throwing good money at bad marketing. It's like flushing it down the toilet and you're, and you're, just, you're just blind. So ask, okay? And if you're doing that and you're having success with it, please leave your comments here and tell us what you're doing. Share it with us. So uh, thanks for tuning in, by the way. Share this with, uh, as I always ask here, if you know somebody else, if you have a friend in business, please share this video with them so you can help them to ask and learn about their marketing. And uh, make sure you're entered to get my newsletter. I mentioned that, right? Collecting email addresses. You've got to build your email list. So I also will bribe you. I have special things that I provide to my subscribers that I don't do on the show here, special trainings. So uh, you can go get that any, anywhere on the site, right here in the video. You can enter your email address. So uh, Hey, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys uh, being with me, and I look forward to talking to you again.